Well, His Majesty King Charles III's coronation celebration is going to be celebrated all over the world this Saturday. And of course, our friends here in Houston had to get in on some of the fun. Hosted by the British Consulate General Houston, one of our favorite people in town to start and talk with, who probably knows more about Texas now than a lot of Texans, <laughs> Richard Hyde, His Britannic Majesty's Council, Consul General. I want to get that correct because it is a severe awesome title <laughs> and every time we chat with you you have some fascinating stuff to talk about absolutely I mean, I've been called many things so I, I, <laughs> I, I will take anything as long as it's polite Richard for a lot of our viewers who are not familiar with the coronation celebration process can you kind of break it down and give us a little summary of what's gonna happen so this is a I mean this is basically the continuation of a thousand year old uh, celebration of the the, the, the the public showing of a new king so the king became king on the moment his, his mother passed away but this is the this is the celebration with the whole community the whole country and the whole world now can celebrate and watch this moment of so ceremonial moment when the crown passes on to the onto the head of the king so this is a uh, it goes back hundreds and hundreds of years and we've changed it a little bit we've modernized it but fundamentally it's a celebration of passing on of the order but the, the the oath and the continuation of service and duty that's what it's about so i want to clarify i was wrong on my time change you guys are six hours six ahead hours. of us so it's going to be a nice and early morning but it's going to be so educational and so great to watch i want to mention when was the last time that king charles was in Texas. So he visited twice. He visited in 1977, just after the bicentennial of American independence and celebrating the Queen's Silver Jubilee. But he came back in 1986 for a longer tour and he had a great time. He visited Dallas, Austin, San Antonio and Houston. We're looking at that picture right now. Who's in it with him? So he met, he had the great pleasure. And I have that pleasure as well of meet, meeting the Rangerettes. Oh. And uh, this, this picture was taken with one of the Rangerettes, uh, Lisa Walker. And actually we found Lisa and Lisa's joining us at our celebration this weekend. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, so let's jump into what's happening this weekend you the, the king does love to spend a lot of time giving back to to different communities what's what's happening here so the king is, is is passionate that this year as we celebrate around the world that we do give back to the communities where we as diplomats live he's also very passionate about the environment and about ecology he has been for many decades and so first thing on on saturday morning 8 30 on saturday morning we're all going to volunteer. There's a whole bunch of friends from the British school, from all kinds of different organizations. We're going to come out and we're going to work with the Buffalo Bayou Partnership and we're going to clean up the bayou. We've got picnics going. We have uh, food trucks. We have snow cones for the kids. So people can come and join us, have some fun, enjoy, celebrate the day and, and give back to the community. And, and clean I also, up. I want to mention the invite only garden party. You're going to have the Aston Martins here. You're going to have the cocktails and the bagpipers who we're going to get to coming mm -hmm. up in just a bit. But before we go, let's go ahead and toast to the King Charles. Charles cocktail, which is uh, it's a famous one, right? It's made it's made for the coronation. It's a brand new cocktail. It's got some high clear gin, which is a fabulous gin from Downton okay. Abbey. It's got single malt whiskey. It's got a bit of lime and a few of the orange liqueurs, but it's just for the coronation. Okay, well, cheers and toast to cheers. the king. All right, Derek, I'll take a sip just for you. It is delicious, and we should be making these for our own watch parties this weekend. Well, they look delicious, almost as delicious as my spot of tea. I've been working on my pinky, and it's going <laughs> quite pinky well. Pinky up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lauren we'll Kelly. See you in just a bit. Yeah, it's not tea. Yeah. Happy coronation day as well. Coming up, Dustin. Well, a lot of really fun things are happening as we celebrate King Charles coronation this weekend, including a fun garden party hosted by some of our friends from across the pond, but who are now definitely our official Texans. Richard Hyde, we were talking about the King's vehicle, his mm -hmm. vehicle of choice. DB9, which is a beautiful car. This one here, because Texas has to be better, is a DBL in Texas. So this is what, eh, what he tells them to do. This is not a car with a driver. He drives these oh, himself. Oh, he does drive he this one. I know you were telling me that there are some that are EV, but it's not the same, especially with an, with an engine like this. You need to feel it. It's the sound when the engine starts. Yeah. It's something special. Something I do special. just want to, uh, Enrique, photographer, I want you to come over here and just kind of take a look at the inside. If you've never seen the inside of an Aston Martin, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the smell of the leather on the inside. It is no wonder that the king chooses to drive this car. Uh, and and James Bond too. So I'm going to go ahead and step out before I accidentally break something. But <laughs> Richard, we also have some friends of ours here from who we got today. A British party is never a party without a Scottish pipe band. And this is the St. Thomas Episcopal. They are world champion, world famous pipe band from here in Houston. And they're going to play something for us. They're going to play something. So we, we finish everything with God Save the King and these guys are going to play us out. Okay, well, God Save the King. Can we hear some of it?
Richard, thank you so much for all the information. God save the king. Cheers, Cheers. to him, and we'll toast him this weekend. Cheers. Houston Life will be right back. Cheers. Cheers.